Hello, I decided to shoot this video about my 2003 Ford and this is an F250 4x4 diesel with a 6 liter engine and uh, the reason is that when I googled uh, for information on how to do these two things that we're going to talk about I did not find good clear information and I thought maybe this could be helpful to others like it would have been to me when I thought I was going to be stuck. So the first question is, how do you engage 4x4 on this truck? And there's two ways to do it. So we're gonna talk about the automatic mode first, and then we're gonna talk about how to do it manually. When we talk about the manual mode, we're also gonna talk about how to move the hubcap covers on black Rhino wheels, because that's also something that the people who sold me the wheels did not tell me about, nor was it information I found on the Black Rhino website. So now, we're gonna bring the camera around, I'll turn on the truck and I'll show how to engage a four by four. So the truck is on right now and it's in park and obviously we have it in standard mode. We have the uh, traction selector here which is now on two-wheel drive we have the options for 4x4 high 4x4 low what my wife barely remembered from when we bought the truck and the salesman was actually test driving it for us is that to engage a 4x4 what you have to do is put the truck on neutral first then you change the selector switch to the mode you want then I'm not sure if you can see there, but I'll bring the camera closer. You'll see there in the dash display, 4x4 and low or high are selected. Now you can put the truck in gear and then slowly the gears engage and you should be in 4x4 mode, either low or high, as selected. Now when you want to switch out of 4x4 again, you have to put it back in neutral and then make the selection and then go back to drive and now the truck will be in standard two-wheel drive so this is what obviously I didn't have the owner's manual as I bought the truck used and uh, wasn't explained to me very clearly and I didn't see it very clearly explained in uh, other uh, chat uh, or, or, or uh, websites or anything else now we're going to talk about how to remove the hubcap covers from the black rhino wheels in case you have to change it uh, manually. So when you look at this, it's got a lot of bolts, different sizes. Most of them are fake. And with a lot of dust on the wheels, I had not noticed, but I thought all of these were fake. And in fact, one of the videos I watched said that these caps snap right off, which was incorrect and I almost broke one. Until someone was nice enough to walk up and notice that two of these Allen bolts are actually not fake. To remove those, you will need either a five millimeter Allen wrench, or you could use a 316, although it's not a very good fit. So with a five millimeter, you unscrew these two. It's just two of them again. And there's nothing else holding it on there. Again, this is for black rhino wheels. Once you have it removed, then you can manually select it to lock or back to automatic after you're done with your four x four experience. That's it. Good luck.